Good afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for uh, end of day's trading to the Thursday, 27th of April 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the uh, app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's see exactly where we stand in terms of the markets at present. Uh, the end of day's stats, let's just uh, observe. Uh, European uh, markets all in all finish in the red. FTSE down 50 points, the Jack DAX down 30 points, the French CAC down 16. FTSE MIB down uh, more than a percentage point, okay. Even with the Mr. Draghi certainly sounding, well, from my perspective, I'd say net-net neutral because the only thing that we can judge him on is the movement in the euro, okay. Now, if we actually bring up the euro today, let's look at the euro on a 15-minute chart or even a 60-minute chart. Let's have a look here. So the euro itself certainly holds more or less uh, neutral, okay, no real major sell-off. Uh, one I was, uh, well, everybody certainly was expecting this potential gap fill play, okay. Now that gap fill hasn't occurred due to several reasons, uh, one of them being the uh, the fact that the US data was exceptionally weak. Now, where do we stand, okay, and where are we going next? That's the question. So first of all, Mr. Draghi has talked up growth, but he talked down inflation, which really doesn't make sense. If you think of it from that perspective, if you're talking up growth, then technically you should be talking up inflation as well, because growth obviously equates or it leads to inflation. So if economic growth is uh, certainly, uh, especially given the fact that the economic data today out of the eurozone was stronger than expected overall as well. OK, so if economic data is strong, if growth is strong, then that generally triggers inflation. Now, it's interesting he said that because he, he uh, talked down inflation when oil prices hit a low of $48, okay? Uh, now, certainly sold off quite viciously. So, interesting scenario. Let's put it that way, okay? Interesting scenario. The net result, really, the only way we can judge the actual uh, interpretations of Mr. Draghi is by the euro. And the euro really is trading sideways, okay? No real major breakout either way. We hit a pivot high of 109.30 and then obviously we retraced back to 108.50 and we've bounced subsequently, currently trading around the 108.80 level. How far are we from the last two days? More or less neutral, okay? So how do we interpret Draghi, okay? Very, very hard, very, very hard to. If anything, its status quo remains the same. So we move on, okay? So not unless if we actually witness the euro moving down to 107.30, 107.20, then you could certainly argue to a large extent, okay, uh, one could argue that Mr. Draghi was overtly dovish and therefore that's how the markets have interpreted him. And that hasn't been the case either, okay. Also with regards to the US dollar, US, de US market, we had very weak economic data out of the US, jobless claims weaker, uh, uh, the housing stats certainly weaker as well, um, the goods trade, trade durable goods as well certainly on the weaker side. Uh, goods trade balance certainly on the weaker side. So everything was certainly weaker from the US. So that certainly did uh, dent the uh, euros, obviously, uh, sell-off as well to a large extent, okay? Or actually has potentially postponed it. But either way, we, we judge Mr. Draghi's uh, comments via the euro USD, and that's it. that's exactly what I'm observing right now, okay? But you can argue there's a H&S formation there down to gap fill, but again, that's uh, that certainly is uh, your own interpretation, okay? In terms of the uh, the market then, okay, so we certainly have a bear flag in, in play on the euro uh, in terms of uh, the next potential move. Will that play out? It's a different question altogether, okay? Uh, and we'll see whether or not... Also, there was a potential comment out with regards to the, uh, the Fed, uh, potentially uh, uh, comments out with regards to the Fed, uh, potentially uh, raising rates and tapering QE as well, and that's certainly denting the dollar to a large extent. Also, the latest comments from North Korea releases video simulating war with the US. So the North Koreans certainly say rattling as well. So we'll see how that plays out. Okay, now in terms of equities, uh, let's see exactly where we stand now that we've uh, digested Mr. Draghi. Okay, weekly chart, German DAX still stuck at that weekly chart resistance. Let's see how that plays out. Daily chart, we put in a doji candle. Certainly isn't a promising sign. No real uh, uh, conviction higher. A 60-minute chart certainly held as well, holding resistance, no real, no higher high. That certainly is interpreted as bearish. We close a gap, okay, so the German DAX rallied, closed a gap, and then obviously we sold off quite sharply. So not exactly bullish, folks, okay? Price action isn't exactly giving you a bullish signal, okay? So bear that in mind. In terms of the French CAC, let's see exactly where we stand here. 
French CAC, certainly weaker all day. The daily chart at the moment after those dojis, we're putting a red candle today. 60 minute chart, again, no higher high. If anything, we'll be putting a lower high, at least the DAX uh, pushed higher. This hasn't even pushed higher, folks. Okay, so again, risk negative. That's how I would interpret. We, even, we failed to even close a gap. So at least the German DAX closed a gap. The French CAC didn't even close a gap. So again, one would interpret that as bearish, even though Mr. Draghi did attempt to talk down inflation, although he did talk up growth. Still risk neutral. That's how I would interpret Mr. Draghi, and I'd move on. In terms of the FTSE 100, really, that's the only index that was certainly weak today. Uh, my mistake for not shorting this index today, okay, looking back in hindsight and foresight, etc. Um, missed out an opportunity there to short the FTSE, given the fact that commodities were exceptionally weak. In terms of commodities I was referring to, you have oil. If I bring up the chart of oil, you can see here, we put in a potential bottoming tail on oil here, okay. Now, bear with me one second. Okay, so oil prices certainly sold off, but then bounced on the back of, uh, I think it was Azerbaijan and uh, Saudi state, you know, arguing that they were going to uh, agree on potential oil output cuts as well. So again, we're watching the price of oil here, uh, absolutely instrumental, absolutely key in terms of the next move. Okay, so whether or not we can hold that Fib 75, we haven't thus far. Okay, we've got this key diagonal trend line, bottom intel certainly going in on oil as well. 60 minute chart certainly bouncing, okay certainly bouncing on oil uh, whether or not mr azerbaijan comments will be sufficient enough to uh, stabilize the price of oil is a is a totally different question altogether okay so we'll keep an eye on oil okay see if oil can stabilize there okay let's move on to the uh, FTSE again now okay so bearish engulfing candle on the FTSE 100 today 60 minute short bearish uh, bear flag certainly played out in terms of the oil weakness we hit that pivot S2, S3, moving on to the 10-minute chart, certainly bounced off that pivot low, okay. Uh, interesting scenario here in terms of uh, the FTSE. Uh, European indices still quite stellar, still quite strong, impressively strong, okay. Uh, hats off to the uh, the bulls today on the uh, certainly buying up European equities. Certainly very, very impressive. FTSE certainly sold off down to pivot S. Uh, S3, okay, and then obviously, obviously, it has subsequently bounced since, okay. In terms of the um, the actual uh, euro stocks, last but not least, let's just bring up the euro stocks here. Daily chart still just consolidating, whether or not we continue. Just bear in mind, daily chart there is a gap fill at uh, 3604. Just bear that in mind, okay. Bear that in mind, 63604. 60 minute chart certainly is a bear flag, so we are looking to potentially move lower, okay. Lower lows, lower highs. And 10 minute chart as well certainly remains subdued. You've had resistance at 3572 and looking to potentially sell off. You've got support at 355 and then potentially down to gap fill. So, from my perspective, Euro stock certainly is vulnerable uh, to a potential flush lower. Okay, so bear that in mind. Okay, then, uh, I think that's a good summation of European uh, equities, uh, given the fact that we had a, uh, a failed uh, Trump tax plan. Uh, the reflation trade really is under threat, okay? Uh, we've had oil certainly selling off quite substantially today. Again, commodities under pressure, okay? We have um, US data certainly on the weaker side as well. Therefore, bias remains bearish there. Uh, really, all we're waiting for at present, really, the market has only been kept afloat due to Alphabet, uh, Amazon, Intel, and Microsoft earnings. And then we'll see exactly how the market trades thereafter. My bias remains firmly bearish, looking for downside moves. On that note, please be sure to visit Trade Signal. Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Goodbye now.